Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Justin here, as always. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me and Pete, of course, to talk about my favorite standalone limited edition releases. Limited edition. I sound like Eminem talking about these. Pulled out a ton of movies right off the shelf back here. This is a series that I've wanted to start for a long time, uh, where I just talk about the standalone limited edition special releases that I think these companies went above and beyond as far as packaging, special features, all that good stuff. I just think these are outstanding standing releases, the best a company can put forward that really roll out the red carpet for the movies that I love. Some well-known, some not well-known. Uh, these are There's a couple newer releases on here, but I have a big stack over there, so I'm excited to uh, to start this series. Now, these aren't box sets. These are single movies, so uh, the, the box, my favorite box sets is another series that I want to start, too, that I'll eventually do down the road, but I'm going to do them six at a time, so I have a bunch that I'm just looking over there that I want to talk about so bad, but we're gonna narrow it down for six per episode, and I have six right here, and we're gonna kick it off with the greasiest movie in my collection, and that is Monster Pictures and Alamo Draft House, all region release of The Greasy Strangler. You probably think I'm the Greasy Strangler. That's why you won't grease my dog. Guys, if you have not seen the, Dre the Greasy Strangler, it's kind of one of those movies that's almost impossible to describe. You're a bullshit artist! But when you boil it down or grease it down to, uh, I guess, a basic story, you have the son is this man-child who takes care of his creepy guy, uh, creepy dad, who uh, basically survives on just foods that are slathered in grease in the most disgusting ways. And he also uh, moonlights as a serial killer. He douses himself in coats and coats of grease, goes out in the night and murders people in gruesome ways. <laughs> and then he rinses himself down in a car wash, which is um, <laughs> part of the artwork that we're gonna talk about in here. Now, what I love about this release is you get this really cool kind of pop art uh, art cover that's on the front. You have a bunch of uh, special features. You have interviews with the, direct the director. You have interviews with uh, a couple of the actors, uh, cast and crew stuff. You have special effects uh, featurettes, all kinds of cool shit, tons of interviews. And then you open it up and you also have this uh, kind of not safe for work artwork on the inside. It's also reversible. Um, the, the father and son duo do this tour throughout California where they tour famous locations that had to do with the disco era in the 70s. Like I said, there's no possible way that I can explain this movie in a way that's going to like, you just, it's an inexplainable movie. It's kind of like a surrealistic, uh, nightmare fueled version of Napoleon Dynamite in a way. It's that kind of like dry, weird, surrealistic humor, but Monster Pictures went absolutely nuts with this release and it's amazing. It's called the Greasy Down Under Two Disc Deluxe Edition and it's awesome. So I think you can still find this. I know I've seen it around. Of course, you can always look on eBay to find these, but if I can find uh, cheaper alternatives for these releases, I'll link them down below. But this is, uh, this is an all region release. And next up, Cat Dead Details Later, one of the most beautiful releases ever to come out of Arrow Video. And that is the 1080p Blu-ray version of Reanimator. Did you ever see that movie where the body is walking around carrying its own head and then the head goes down on that bay. <laughs> <laughs> Reanimator. This is an absolutely gorgeous release. In my opinion, one of the most amazing releases that Arrow Video has ever done. Now this is another all region release. If you look at the bottom, this is region A, B, and C. So uh, that's pretty cool that they were able to do an all region release of this. But this has uh, just an amazing tasteful artwork. It's very simple. It has this kind of cream off-white color with... Look at that subtle off-white coloring this neon uh, reagent uh, color. If you haven't seen Reanimator, it's directed by Stuart Gordon. It stars Jeffrey Combs, Barbara Crampton, and uh, George Jeffrey Combs plays a doctor called Herbert West, who's trying to, uh, who he has created this serum that brings humans back to life after they're already dead. You inject this serum inside their body and they turn alive, but of course, as in all these movies, it doesn't go as planned and they turn back, uh, turn back to life into these, uh, you know, flesh eating, fucked up zombie. Uh, you open it up and it of course has this cool artwork that it's kind of reminiscent of the opening credits uh, of the movie. You have two booklets and then this, you have a little book up with the write up in here and the cast and crew and some pictures in the little mini booklet. You have some uh, lobby cards, some little like art cards that are really cool. And then what you also get is uh, a full color, perfect bound comic book that comes along with this. And it's just, it's just so, so cool. Such a tasteful, beautiful release. The restoration is great. You have a few different versions um, of the movie. Um, next up, 
probably the most obscure and like low budget edition in this video, and that is Peter Jackson's very first film, Bad Taste. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Peter Jackson, before he did Heavenly Creatures and Frighteners and Lord of the Rings and all that stuff, he made micro budget splatter films, and this was the first one he ever did. He did all the effects himself, he wrote it, directed, directed it, and put it together uh, with a group of friends when he had, you know, extra time. He filmed it in New Zealand. It's a uh, kind of an alien invasion movie. These aliens come down and they make food out of humans. But what, where this movie really shines is its DIY aesthetic, all the effects that Peter Jackson was able to provide and like do himself. It's just amazing. It's a little light on special features, but the packaging is where this edition really shines. And just, uh, this was limited to 50,000. You have a featurette, good taste made bad taste, which is just kind of Peter Jackson talking about the making of the movie. You have a little booklet that comes in here where you have uh, a couple interviews and some pictures from the film. It folds out in this three panel, like double fold case. You have the fingers in there flipping you off. But it's just a really cool release and it also has this kind of slip cover. I like when these editions have these really cool slip covers that go over the edition itself. Now, to be honest, I don't know if this is only region A. It doesn't say on this case itself. I'm almost positive this is just a region A release DVD, but I could be wrong for if anybody has this edition and knows uh, better than I do, let me know. But I actually found this on like the impulse buy shelf right as you're checking out at Blockbuster. I think this was released, what, what year was it? Early 2000s, maybe, yeah, 2001. This just happened to be sitting on the shelf at Blockbuster and I just picked it up way back in the day. Uh, and next up is one of the most, if not the most uh, elaborate, beautiful edition uh, that Vinegar Syndrome has ever put out. And that is this 4K VSU edition of Beastmaster. Now this thing is a beast in itself. This is a 4K um, edition of the movie. Vinegar Syndrome doesn't fuck around putting out a 4K scan, 1080p Blu-ray, and then six months later releasing a 4K. They don't do that shit to their customers because they respect their collectors. Um, but this thing's just absolutely incredible. It has this hardcover box with this magnet close, uh, magnet close apparatus, beautiful artwork inside. Every piece of this thing is covered in just amazing throwback, uh, like really just like uh, statuesque, like Frank Frazetta style artwork. Then you open it up and you have a more artwork on a double-sided slip cover. Um, so not only do you get the hardcover box, you get this amazing slip cover with cool art. You get a perfect bound uh, book with information about the movie. There's a couple, um, actually the same guy who wrote the essay in this, wrote the essay for Reanimator. Uh, insightful stuff in there. And then of course you have the movie. And uh, I don't think this has any kind of reversible artwork. Oh, it does. It does have reversible artwork. So you can revert. I didn't actually didn't film that on my uh, on my other thing. So oh, and I didn't film this when I did my extra footage, but there is reversible artwork on here, so that's cool. I actually didn't even know that this had reversible artwork. So uh, this is the uh, Vinegar Syndrome's VSU line. So this was the first first release in the VSU line. I think the second one. I think it was Six String Samurai. I could be wrong. I'll put up the correct answer if I am wrong, but. Uh, super cool release from Vinegar Syndrome. They are my favorite label. Even if they don't put out as much high profile uh, titles, they still put the most care into their releases. You know, Scream Factory should at this point be releasing all of their limited edition movies, their special editions, they call special editions, in editions like this, but they don't. They give us flimsy little uh, bl shitty Blu-ray cases with paper thin slip covers and Scream Factory is uh, shitty. I call them shit factory. Um, I need I'm I need to do a whole rant video on Scream Factory because they've really been bumming me out lately. And next up, we're gonna head down to the little town of Tromaville and talk about one of my all-time favorite movies. If you guys have watched this, if you guys have watched this channel or my other channel, Movie Watch Daily, you know that Poultry Geist is one of my favorite movies, and I have massive respect for Lloyd Kaufman as a, in the world of independent film. He's just uh, he's such a character. This was listen, this was uh, limited to 15,000 copies, and this is the exclusive three-disc collector's edition of Poultry Geist. Night of the Chicken Dead. This takes place in Tromaville at a location, a uh, restaurant location called American Chicken Bunker that was built on an ancient Indian burial ground. And anybody who eats the disgusting slime covered, I'll let them say it. And who put these mysterious vein covered pulsating eggs in this box? Hey, Paco, would you take those mysterious pulsating vein covered eggs and go and put them with the breakfast food? Anybody who eats that, turns into basically human hybrid chicken zombies, and it's amazing from front to back. It's grotesque, trauma, classic special effects. In my opinion, this is Lloyd Kaufman's finest hour. I know it's fattening, but 
but I love the skin. <laughs> Uh, now, in my opinion, this is Lloyd Kaufman's best movie that he directed. As far as a whole cohesive project, I know there's Class of Newcomb High and uh, Tromeo and Juliet and Toxic Avenger. Those are all classics, obviously. But for some reason, this just has, uh, it's put together in such a good way. And it's a musical, believe it or not. So there's these all these songs. Um, and it's just such a blast. It's completely offensive and un-PC as Lloyd Kaufman is. Um, but I just love this movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But we get tons of special features, including a feature length hour and a half or more uh, documentary called Poultry in Motion, which is a feature length behind the scenes cluckumentary. So it's a full in-depth, uh, in the trenches, on the set, uh, documentary about the whole making of the movie um, and then you get a commentary by uh, Lloyd Kaufman you get alternate endings with a you have a special feature with Ron Jeremy the man who which we will not speak of he's now sitting in jail uh, truth is stranger than chicken filmmaking lessons deleted scenes music videos trailers thighs the limit as the case said and like the bad taste you also get this uh, triple panel bifold um, case that folds out. Uh, you have the movie on one disc, you have a complete dedicated uh, disc for just the uh, feature length documentary, and then you have an extra disc of uh, extra special features. This is just jam packed. What year did this? I think this was 2006 or 2007. Really like in the heyday when all the companies were putting out these uh, special editions. Like, like that Bad Taste was an Anchor Bay release. They were notorious for just being badass with their releases. Uh, this one came uh, directly from Troma, Troma Team Video, but I love that release. The artwork's awesome. And finally, for our last movie, our sixth movie in this episode, don't forget guys, let me know you like this series by commenting and liking the video so I will continue this series because I have enough of my favorite special editions to do many more episodes of this series. So let me know in the comments. But for the sixth edition in this video, it is the Sony Pictures release of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is a, uh, they absolutely rolled out the red carpet for Tarantino's uh, last film, or latest film, I should say. He supposedly is gonna do one more film. But this thing is jam-packed with special features. It even comes with a record, um, which is cool, this colored vinyl. Uh, it comes with a little mini poster for one of the many fictional movies that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character uh, does. You get a replica Mad Magazine in here that satirizes uh, Leonardo DiCaprio um, Western in the movie. I'm forgetting what it's called right now. Bounty Law. This is absolutely just a beautiful release and one of the really most eye-catching things about it besides just the inside artwork is this awesome, it's like a mural. It's like a, a mural that tells uh, the whole story of the movie. It shows all the characters in this massive mural when you open it up. So uh, this is just a stacked release. I'm so glad I was able to get this before, I sold, uh, before it sold out. It was on uh, Target's website, so I went ahead and picked that up. So guys, that's it for episode one of my favorite special editions. I have tons more to go, guys. So let me know you like this video by liking and commenting down below. I now am going to shoot uh, another video for what's inside this box, guys. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see what's in the box, what's in the box. If you wanna see, stay tuned. Me and Pete have plenty more content coming at you guys, so I think we're done here. Stay weird, remember to always be yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. We're done, Pete. With the Warehouse Movie Rental Guarantee. This week, the Warehouse guarantees you can rent Big Crocodile Dundee 2 and Cocktail starring Tom Cruise. If we don't have a copy available, we'll give you a coupon for a free rental for one of these three hit movies.